six years ago, Air National Guard Staff Sergeant Louis Bonacasa of Corum was killed in a suicide bomb attack while serving in Afghanistan. The hero airman left his family with precious sentiments of love in letters he wrote from the battlefield. New South Virginia Huey and photographer Pat Mantle bring us Staff Sergeant Bonacasa's story as we begin our Memorial Day series, Last Letters Home. My name is Deborah Bonacasa, and my husband was Louis Bonacasa, and he served in the Air National Guard. Louis was funny, he was kind, he was loving, you know, he was an amazing family man, a great friend, just somebody that you could rely on, and just a genuine person. It was always in his heart to serve and help others. Move it, come on. It all started with September 11. That's what made him want to serve and protect his country. This was an email, a letter that he sent to me a while back, like a few months after Lily was born, and he got deployed. Hey, babe, I miss you so much. The little things are what's always taken for granted. I miss laughing so hard that we cry. I miss your big smile because it lets me know you're happy, and that's what makes me happy. I miss being around my strong woman who now is possibly at her strongest taking care of our little lady by herself while I'm away. I can't wait to come back in your arms and hold what is going to make the love in our lives even greater. When it comes to our family, baby, the sky is the limit and we can get through anything and do anything together. Love you so much and always remember we are one of a kind. Being a dad was his proudest and best accomplishment. Lily is his heart. He hated to leave her, but it's what he had to do. There's always that risk when they go out and get deployed. You just pray that they come home safe. On December 21st, 2015, Louis and five other airmen were killed. They were on patrol on foot. They had let a motorcycle pass by, but there was a bomb inside and they had noticed it. And then the bomb exploded and killed everyone around him. I just lost it. It was really Lily where I got my strength from because I don't know, honestly, if, if Lily wasn't here, I don't know where I would be, but she is what keeps me going. I'm always talking to her about her dad, memories they've had and how proud he is of her and how much she reminds me of him. It took me a while um, to realize that uh, grief does have a positive impact because you strive to preserve your loved one's legacy, to honor them in a special way. And we try to do that by, you know, creating a nonprofit to help others. That's how we honor him and that's what helps us get through. I just want everyone to remember the kind, loving soul he was and that he gave his life for everybody. I, I do miss him.